Question number two. Eddie decides to construct a path across his rectangular grass lawn using pairs of tiles. Each tile is 10 centimeters wide and 20 centimeters long. The following diagrams show the path after Eddie has laid one pair and three pairs of tiles. This pattern continues until Eddie reaches the other side of his lawn. When n pairs of tiles are laid, the path has a width of wn centimeters and a length ln centimeters. The following diagrams show this pattern for one pair of tiles and for three pairs of tiles, where the white space around each diagram represents Eddie's lawn. The following table shows the values of WN and LN for the first three values of N. Part A, find the value of A and B. So if you notice that it's going to be a two-point question and they're asking you for part A and part B, which means that each answer is one point, you're either going to get it right or you're going to get it wrong. And so it's better for you not to leave it blank. In this case, we can tell that there is a pattern and A is going to be 30 and B is going to be 40. You can also basically tell that because they tell you each tile is 10 centimeters wide and 20 centimeters long, if I were to cut along here, then I can tell exactly that this is going to be 10 by 10. So then I have 20 going across and 30 going down. Whereas in this case, when they want to find out what happens when you have two pairs of tiles, two pairs of tiles is going to basically give you this much right here. And so if you count and you break these up, then notice that you're going to have at most one, two, three, four by one, two, three. And so it's going to be 30 by 40. But again, this is a very easy question. And so you can basically just tell by looking that you're going to be at 30 and 40 based on the pattern. The second part of the question says to write down an expression in terms of n for wn and ln. So one of the things that we can do is notice that this is an arithmetic sequence question. We know in an arithmetic sequence based on our formula packet, if you go to the formula packet under topic one, they will give you the formulas for both arithmetic and geometric sequences in series, and they will also basically tell you which one is which. So we are going to work with the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, un equals u1 plus n minus 1 times d. So from here, I can go ahead and substitute. For the first pair of tiles, I know that I have 20 based on the information that was given to me plus n minus 1 times the common difference, that is 10. Every single time you're adding by 10. So this is going to be 20 plus 10n minus 10, which is 10n plus 10. That is going to give me the width. It's going to be 10n plus 10. I can do the same thing now for the length, in which case ln, the last term, is going to be the first term, which is 30 plus n minus 1 times 10 because every single time you are adding 10 to it, which is 30 plus 10n minus 10, which is 10n plus 20. This is a three-point question. They give you one point for understanding that it's an arithmetic sequence problem, and then they give you the other two points for having each correct answer. Eddie's lawn has a length of 740 centimeters. Show that Eddie needs 144 tiles. Whenever it is a show that question, you cannot just take the answer they give you and then go backwards to say, oh yeah, it makes sense that it's going to be 740 centimeters. You can't just substitute and say, oh yes, it works. That's never going to work for a show that question. Instead, we go back to the information that's given. It's given that he has a length of 740 centimeters. So we are going to say 740 centimeters is equal to 10n plus 20. If I take away 20 from both sides, I have 720 is equal to 10n. And if I divide by 10, I'm going to get 72. But if you remember, this means that you need 72 pairs of tiles and 72 times 2 is equal to 144 tiles. You're not done with a show that question until you get exactly the answer that they want. 
which in this case is to show that he needs 144 tiles. So if you had ended at 72 without explaining that that means 72 pairs of tiles, you would not have gotten that final point. Now in part two, it says find the value of Wn for this path. Well, that's easy because we know the formula from what we already found is going to be 10 times n. And in this case, I know that n is going to be 72 plus 10, which is 720 plus 10. So the answer is 730. In part D, it says to find the total area of the tiles in Eddie's path. Give your answer in the form a times 10 to the k, where 1 is less than or equal to a, less than 10, and k is an integer, basically. What this tells you is that they want you to write your answer in scientific notation. So for part D, we know that he needs 144 tiles. And this is something you can answer even if you did not figure out how to show it, because they told you that you need 144 tiles. So if I need 144 tiles times the area of each tile, which is 10 by 20 centimeters, this gives me a total of 28,800 square centimeters. And if you want to write this in scientific notation, right now the decimal point, since it doesn't have one, is at the end, and you go back one, two, three, four spaces, because in scientific notation, you can only have one number in front of the decimal point that is not zero. So only one non-zero digit in front of the decimal point. These are points that you can get even if you get the answer wrong. A lot of times you will be able to get the points for the scientific notation if you did it correctly according to your wrong answer. Never give up on any of these problems. Now for part E, it says the tiles cost $24.50 per square meter. So be very careful because if you remember, we just got the answer for area, but we got it in square centimeters. One of the things that we can do is find the area of each tile in square meters. And the way we do that is to understand that one tile is going to be 10 centimeters by 20 centimeters, but you know that there's going to be a hundred centimeters in one meter. So that means basically that I have to divide by a hundred to figure out that each tile is going to be 0.1 meter times 0.2 meters, which is 0 0.02 square meters. This is a conversion question. It says that they are going to sell the tile in packs of five. That means that if I have five tiles with one pack, I can cover 0 0.02 times five, which is 0.1 square meters. The tiles are costing 2450 per square meter. That means that I'm going to need 2450 times 0.1, which is $2.45 per pack of five tiles. Most of my students, when they did this problem, they completely read over the square meter part and it just kind of went way over their head. They did not catch on that they had to convert. So their answer here for a lot of them, they left it as 245. Whatever answer you work with, you're going to have to continue with that answer as you continue the rest of the problem so that you can get what's called follow through points. Okay, so let's continue. To allow for breakages, Eddie wants to have at least 8% more tiles than he needs. Find the minimum number of packs of tiles Eddie will need to order. Eddie needs 144 tiles, but you want to make sure that you get an extra 8%. So I can either find 8% of 144 and then add it to the 144, or I can do this all in one calculation by multiplying by 1.08%. In other words, that's 100% that he needs plus the additional 8%. So this gives me 155.52 tiles that he needs. But you have to remember, they are going to sell you these tiles in packs of five. So if you take 155.52 and you divide it by 5, this means you need 31.104 packs. But when you go to the store, you cannot ask them for 31.104 packs. So you have to think, he is going to need 
32 packs. Because if he only buys 31 packs, there's going to be not enough tile based on his calculation. So right now, it's better for him to get 32. Finally, in part G, it says there's a fixed delivery cost of $35. Find the total cost for Eddie's order. This is where every one of you can get follow through points. You have determined the cost of each pack of tiles. So if you take the cost of your pack of tiles, which the correct answer is $2.45 per pack, and you multiply that by the amount of packs that he needs, which we found correctly to be 32 packs, and then you add the $35 delivery fee, just for showing that whatever values you got, you should be getting follow through points. And so those are gonna be two easy points for you to get on the exam. The correct answer is $113.40.